This is Module 5, Lesson 36. In this one, we'll be representing the multiplication of n times a over b as n times a over b. We'll start by reminding ourselves that repeated addition, let's say we have 5 6 5 times added together, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 would be 25, 6. And we can represent repeated addition as multiplication. So we can rewrite this as 5, 6, 5 times. 5 times 5, 6. And we know that from our previous lesson, this is equal to 5 times 5 over 6, or 25, 6. And we know that when we have a fraction like this that's greater than 1, we need to decompose it into a mixed number. So 6, 6 is equal to 1, and I can make 4 of those because 6 times 4 is 24. So I have 25, 6, so I can make 4 1s with 1, 6 left over. Let's look at another problem. Let's take 6 times 3 eighths, which we know is 6 times 3 divided by 8. When we multiply 6 times 3, we get 18 eighths. And again, 8 eighths is 1. Another 8 eighths is 2. So if I've made two holes, I've used 16 of the 18 eighths leaving me with 2 eighths, and I could simplify that to 2 and 1 fourth. Now let's use these to solve a real world problem. Here's the problem. The serving size for cereal is 2 thirds of a cup. Each of 27 students In health class, measured one measuring to eat for breakfast. If a box contained 16 cups, how many boxes of cereal were needed? Well, first we have to say how many cups were needed altogether before we can determine how many boxes we need. So if each student gets two thirds of a cup and there's 27 students, This is equal to 2 times 27 over 3, which would be 54 thirds. And again, we're looking to turn this into a mixed number. And if we look at how many 3's there are in 54, there would be 18. If we don't know this off the top of our head, we can just do a quick little division problem to help us figure this out. Okay, and we see that 18 times 3, so 54 thirds would be equal to 18 cups. One box has 16 cups, but because we need 18 cups, we would need two boxes. And we'd know that we would have some left in the second box for next time. Let's try some problems in our problem set. So first of all, we're going to draw some tape diagrams to represent these repeated additions. So for the first one, we have 3 fourths, and we have 4 of them. And so if we add 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, this would be equal to 12 fourths or 3. You try number 2. Okay, so this is 7 twelfths. 
and if we add them together we get 21 twelfths. We don't have enough to make two, one, two holes because that would take 24 twelfths. So we have one and then we would have nine twelfths left over which we could simplify to one and three-fourths. Okay, now look at these same problems, but we're going to write them as a multiplication expression. So three-fourths, four times. We have four of them, one, two, three, four. And we get, again, 12 fourths, which is equal to three. Over here, it would be three times seven twelfths. Three times seven would be 21, 21 twelfths would be one and three-fourths. Okay, for number three, we're gonna re rewrite each repeated problem, repeated addition problem as a multiplication problem, and then write the results as a mixed number. So the first one's been started, first as repeated addition, then four times seven fifths, and then four times seven over five, which would be 28 fifths. So if we go by multiples of five, five uh, one times five is five, two times five is 10, three times five is 15, four times five is 20, five times five is 25, six times tw five is 30. I, don't, I can't go to six because I only have 28. So I'm gonna have to stop at five holes, which would be five fifths, five times, so I would use 25 of the fifths with three left over. Okay, you try B. Okay, we've added together nine tenths three times, which would be three times nine over 10, which would be 27 tenths. We could pull out two holes with seven tenths left over. Try C. Here we have five times 11 twelfths, or five times 11 twelfths, which is 55 twelfths. And again, looking at multiples of, of 12, we could do 12 times one is 12, 12 times two is 24, 12 times three is 36, 12 times 4 is 48, 12 times 5 is 60, so we can't go to 5, we don't have enough, we'll have to stop at 4 holes. If I have 4 holes, I would have used 48 twelfths, so what I would have left is 7 twelfths. Okay, for number 4, you can solve using any method and express your answers as whole numbers or mixed numbers. Okay, try A. Now, you need to write here as much as you need to write in order to keep track of this. If you just know without writing it down that what you're going to do here is 8 times 2 is 16 and it's 16 thirds, that's fine to just go right ahead and write that. If you need to write down more details to make sure that you keep track of what you're doing, that's fine too. So we're looking at thirds, and we can get five holes out of 16, because five times three is 15, so I'm gonna use 15 thirds to make five, and then I would have one third left over. Try B. Okay, so for B, what we're doing is 12 times 3 over 4, which would be 36 fourths. And since 9 times 4 is 36, our whole number would be 9 with no fractional part. Try C. 50 times 4 would be 200. 200 fifths would be 40, since 40 times 5 would be 200. Try D. 
So we'd have 26 times 7 over 8. Most people are not going to just know what 26 times 7 is. So do a little multiplication problem. 6 times 7 is 42. 2 times 4, 2 times 7 is 14, plus 4 is 18. So we'd get 182 8s. And again, probably you can't figure out how many 8s there are in 182. So just do a little quick division problem here. And there would be two groups of 8 in 18 leaving me with two. And then out of eight here, I could only get two more and I would use 16. So when I would subtract, there would be six eights left over. So what my answer would be 22 and six eights or if I simplify 22 and 3 fourths. Okay, try number 5. So Megan poured 9 tenths of a liters of punch into 6 bottles. How many liters of punch did she pour in all? So I'm going to do 9 tenths 6 times. So 9 times 6 is 54. 54 tenths. If I divide, I could get 5 holes. 5 times 10 is 50 with 4 tenths left over. Or 5 and 2 fifths. And remember, word problems we always have to answer in a complete sentence. She poured 5 and 2 thirds liters of punch. Okay, try number six. Okay, recipe calls for three-fourths of a cup of rice. And how many cups are needed to make the recipe four times? So we're going to, 14 times, I'm sorry. So we're going to do three times 14 over four. And again, if you need to, do that little multiplication. 14 times 3 is 42. So 42 fourths. We can make 10 holes from then. 10 times 4 would use 40 fourths with 2 fourths left over, which we know is 10 and a half. So um, we would need... 10 and 1 half cups. Remember, we're to always, always include the units of rice. And finally, try number 7. So the butcher made 120 sausages. Each sausage used 3 eighths of a pound. So how much did he use altogether? So again, if you need to, do that little multiplication. If you can do it in your head, that's fine. 360 over 8. And again, to know how many holes we can take out, we're going to take 360 and divide by 8. 8 times 4 is 32. When we subtract, we get 40. 8 times 5 is 40, so it comes out to a whole number, 54 pounds. And to answer the question, the butcher used 54 pounds in all. And that's the end of Lesson 36.